I want to ask you a question. Are you a public sector or government pro? Are you on social media? Did you ever consider the fact that you could be, or indeed from my perspective, should be a social media influencer? That you have a really important role to play in public interest messaging? Because after all, there isn't a commercial win for you guys like there is in the traditional influencer. The win for you is trust and transparency. And you've heard me say this millions of times before, and I will continue to say it. Trust and transparency is the number one currency in the digital age. So influence matters on social media. You own the truth of what you are talking about on social. You're inside the boardroom. You're inside the corridors of power within your agency, department or organization. You know where the lines of communication are drawn, what can be publicized and what can't. Let's face it, in the absence of subject matter experts and those owning the content and telling the truth, we have vacuums on social media. And this actually then spreads disinformation. Traditional communication has evolved also. It's no longer the gift of the traditional media and some of the media definitely disagree with me on this point, but that's absolutely fine. It's no longer in the gift of traditional media to simply be the vehicle or the key platform to communicate public interest messaging to the public. I used to be a journalist got a master's in journalism. I understand the industry, the discipline and what journalism is all about. And we need uh, a free and an independent, strong media in every country in the world right now. But you have to remember that traditional media has evolved. It's been disrupted in the digital age and the public expect to gain access to the leaders and to the subject matter experts on their favorite social networks. If we remind ourselves what Barack Obama said back in the White House in 2009 when he became the 44th president of the United States, he said, we need to learn to deliver public services, not how we want to deliver them, but how the public expect them. So consider the evolution of traditional comms. Being active and influential on social media demonstrates also that you care and that you're listening and that you're engaged in the concept called social listening. I know you may be getting social listening reports from your digital communications team, but as the great GAA line goes, nothing beats being there. When you are engaged in social media, when you are on a platform and listening yourself and watching the conversation, you get a real sense for the public mood and to take the public temperature. And I think that is a vital part of every government and public sector professional's job, especially when you get to senior leadership 